afternoon, mindsetters, and um, welcome to our Maths Literacy Paper 1 and 2 session. I'm Indiana, and this is Haley, and today we'll be tackling all those questions you need to know about. Um, and Haley, I hear that we apparently have Innocent online, and we've got a question. I think we still need to get him, but um, Studio will let us know. Um, we yeah. do. We, we, Innocent wanted to know something about the November 2010 um, Paper 2. He actually wants to know about question one. So we're just waiting for Innocent to be called. Okay, let's in the meantime read the question. So question one, like I said, from the November 2010 paper two. Mind Lovell makes circular placemats and circular tablecloths out of material. So I need a pen for that. Okay, she makes circular placemats and circular tablecloths out of material. And edged with beads and sells them. The placemats have a diameter of 30 centimeters. The radius of the tablecloth is four times the radius of the placemat. So that's a really important fact that we need to know. And then we've got the following formula may be used. And the formula is the circumference is equal to two pi times radius. And we're going to be using pi is equal to three comma one four. I don't think we've got Innocent on the line yet, so let's start by reading the question and actually answering it, and hopefully he'll come in along the way. How mm -hmm. do you think about that? Perfect. Right, so our first part of our question says, calculate the circumference of the tablecloth. So what my first step is, let's find some paper here. My first step is I'm going to draw this tablecloth. I need to find the radius of the tablecloth. I know... I also have a placemat. So this is the tablecloth, and I've got a placemat. Now let's go back to the wording and see what it actually tells us about the radius or the circumference. So I know that the placemat has a diameter of 30 centimeters. So if my diameter of my placemat is 30 centimeters, then my radius is half the diameter. I'm going to take my 30 and divide it by 2. So my radius is 15 centimeters. Let's go back to our drawing and pull, fill that in here. So we've got 15 centimeters for my placemat. Right, moving back up, see what it tells us about the tablecloth. The radius of the tablecloth is four times the radius of the placemat. Now I've got the radius of the placemat. So I'm going to go and work out my radius for the tablecloth is four times the radius of the placemat. So let's now substitute in values because we've got the radius of the placemat which was 15. So four times 15 centimeters gives me my radius of my tablecloth. And if I need to, I can use the calculator for that just in case. So 4 times 15 is 60 centimeters. Now that I've got the radius is 60 centimeters. Now I can go ahead and use the formula. So let's go back up and read what the formula was. Circumference is 2 pi times r. Let's change our color. The circumference of the tablecloth and I always write in my formula because then it's easier for me not to forget what mm. I'm doing. And that's a good tip that you can give everybody on Facebook. Yeah. So <clears throat> always yeah. write in your formula. Now oh, all we're going to do is substitute. And also, before we go on, I just want to let everyone know that you can join us on Facebook. We're chatting. I'm sitting behind the computer, chatting to everyone. Um, that's www.facebook.com forward slash learn extra and that's extra with an X. Also you can follow us on Twitter at learn extra. X T R A. Cool. Okay, let's go see what our um, there was one other fact I'm going back up to show you that we needed to use pi is three comma one four. So read the question carefully and see what they actually tell you because you need to use exactly what they say. So we have here 2 times pi of 3 comma 1 4 times by my radius which was 60. Doesn't look like a very good 6. Let's try that again. 60. Right and let's get our calculator out and let's calculate that 
value. So it's 2 times the radius times 60. And we get an answer of <coughs> 376,8. So let's write that into 300. And I can't remember what it was, 76,8. And what units were we dealing with? We were dealing with centimeters. Right, I'm going to go back and reread the question just to check that I've actually answered the question correctly. And it says calculate the circumference of the tablecloth. So I have calculated it correctly. I've got my units and I've got the answer perfectly. So we know that our answer is 376,8 centimeters. I wonder what's happened to Innocent. No, I wonder, Innocent, maybe we can get hold of you. I'm not quite sure. Um, if any of you do want to phone in and ask a question, we are available and we are ready. The number is 0861058262. Also, guys, don't forget, I mean, we're on so many platforms. Sometimes I even get a bit confused. Um, we're also on Peptext, and our group code is Mindset. And Peptext is a fantastic platform where you can SMS for free. And and it's really great. Yeah, it's fantastic. <clears throat> Basically, yeah. we're here to help you. So yeah. pick up the phone, get onto your computer, do something. We are here for you. Yeah, I'm sitting here behind my Facebook, well, behind the computer on the Facebook page, waiting for questions from you guys. We're going to carry on with the question. I hope that you're contact contacting us on Facebook, on Twitter, and give us a call. So let's carry on with the question, and hopefully Innocent will call us soon. Yeah, I, I've heard a little rumor that he might. Innoc We've, uh, Innocent is on the line. How exciting. Maybe we can finish the question. Innocent, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. Hi, Innocent. I'm fine. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Innocent. Did you see the first part of the question? Fine. Can you hear Innocent? I I'm struggling can't. to hear Innocent. It sounds like Innocent is having a party. Innocent? Yes. Innocent, we're struggling to hear you, so I'm going to carry on with the question and I hope you can actually follow me as I'm going along. I'm struggling to hear you. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, okay. So we've got, um, who were we dealing with? We were dealing with um, Mand Lovo. Now she, we've got the circumference of her tablecloth. She uses a beaded edging consisting of triangular segments to decorate the edge of each tablecloth. So she's got her tablecloth. Let's look at our picture. She's got her tablecloth, and around the tablecloth, we've got these little beaded segments. And then what the question actually gives us is it gives us more details of the beaded. So these three, if I enlarge them, come out to look like that. So we've got all these beaded segments. It tells us that, um, that's shown in the diagram, each segment of the beaded edging is 4,71 centimeters long. So I've got 4,71 centimeters for one triangle, 4,71 for the second, 4,71 for the third, etc. So every single triangle is 4,71 segment, 4,71 centimeters. Um, Innocent, are you there? Okay. Um, now the question says calculate the number of beaded segments that you will need for each tablecloth. So what we had done in the first part of our question is calculated the circumference of the tablecloth. So if I'm going to take the circumference and I'm going to, so this is for part B, I'm going to take my circumference, which I've calculated, and I'm going to divide it by each segment. So let's fill in numbers now. I've got my circumference was 376,8 centimeters. And I'm going to divide that by how big is each segment. Because that'll tell me how many segments I have going all the way around my tablecloth. So my segment length was 4,71 centimeters. So I'm going to divide this by 4,71 centimeters. And let's see what answer we get. So on our calculator, my calculator already has my answer of my circumference. So I don't need to clear it. All I need to do is actually just divide the answer by 4,71. And then I see I need 
80 segments. So let's go back to write that in. I need 80. And don't forget, we have a reference in everything that we do. So the answer is 80. That's what my calculator said. But is it 80 what? And in this case, it was 80 segments or beaded segments. 80 beaded segments. That's not how you spell beaded. Struggling today. <laughs> beaded segments. Maybe because it's a it's a Saturday, hey? It's a Saturday. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm on this side and not on Facebook yeah, because we have a disaster. <laughs> oh, I think it's, it's true for the other way around as well. <laughs> I just want to read this question to again just to check that we've got the correct answer yes. and then we can tell them how to get hold of us again. So the question said calculate the number of beaded segments that she will need for each tablecloth. And now we know that our 80 was our answer. So let's highlight that in a different color. We needed 80 segments. So, okay, how do mm. they get hold of us, Indy? Well, they get hold of us by calling 0861058262. And guys, don't forget, I'm on facebook.com slash learn extra. I'm here to chat to you. We're here to help you. Um, yeah. Give us a call, and I think it's time to take a break. Yeah, see you after the break, guys. Thank <laughs> you.